This is Miguel Gomez reporting live from AIDS 2024 in Munich. Our conversation is going to be around AI. I'm very lucky to have Mike Reed here with me from the PEPFAR program. And Mike, can you share with our listeners what has PEPFAR, what is the conversation PEPFAR is having around AI here at this conference? Yeah, so I think a lot of the conversation is around what are the best uses for AI across PEPFAR programming. I think it's fair to say that we're very excited about the transformative potential that AI has to advance our strategic goals. And so much of the discussion has been around that. Where, where are the opportunities? And across the care continuum and across the health system uh, expanse, where can we use AI uh, effectively um, right, right now and into the future? I, I think there's a sense that AI will afford us the opportunity for big transformative paradigm shifts. The reality is that it's likely to be incremental and heterogeneous in the near term. And, and we need to answer questions, important questions around what is safe, what's a responsible use of AI, what, where do we need science to answer that we, we, we don't know about its application. So that's been the discussion. Well, no, I really want to thank you because I know the U.S. government as a whole, it is, we are at HIV.gov, to cautious and transparent use of AI. I also know that tomorrow there's going to be a workshop in which Pat Farr is participating. Can you tell us a little bit about this topic of that workshop sure. when it comes to AI? Yeah, so so the, the workshop will, will focus on uh, highlighting several use cases of AI. So, so the use of AI to reduce interruption in treatment for, for people who are engaged in, 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 in uh, HIV treatment, as well of AI to optimize uptake of self-testing um, programmings. We'll then invite input from our colleagues from community and from governments in partner countries to discuss what are some of the ethical uh, research related to responsibly scaling AI. Well, thank you for your time, Mike. And I want to encourage all our viewers to follow HIV.gov to learn more about the U.S. government's use of AI and generative AI. Thank you for watching. Thanks.